Welcome back to you Learn Tutorial. Hi, my name is Michael Chow, and today we will be using the Geometric Shapes Alignment Tools as well as the Pathfinder and Shape Modes to recreate the Android logo in Illustrator. Let's create a new document. Any size is fine. If we have to, we can always resize the logo using the Free Transform tool. So I'll go File, New, or Command N. And I'm going to go ahead and pick my web large and one artboard. Now we will place the Android logo on our artboard. If you had noticed, I have changed my keyboard shortcut to be Command D to be the same as in Design. In the next video, we will show you on how to change your keyboard shortcuts here. Find your logo and place. If you grab the Selection tool, and if you like, let's lock this up. So we go Command 2 or Object Lock Selection. Okay, so what happens is this logo is no longer going to be moved around. To pan it around, if it's too close to here, you can grab the hand tool to zoom it around. I'm just going to go ahead and hit select the space bar, which allows me just to pan it over just slightly so you can see what I'm doing. With the geometric shapes, you have this rectangle tool and the rounded rectangle tool. The one I'm going to be using for this demonstration here is the rectangle tool because we could actually change and control our live corners. So go ahead and select the rectangle tool. And in this case, I'm just going to draw it out to the same height as my, as my arm here. And we notice here, once I do that, I'm not able to see what I'm doing. So next thing I want to do is make sure my fill is actually my stroke. So I'm going to swap these two th colors around. So now I'm going to be able to see it. And I'm, I may just want to increase my stroke here a bit. I'm going to increase it to be two points. I'm going to just zoom in a bit here. I'm going to go Command Spacebar just to zoom in ever so slightly. And when I zoom out, just hold down the Option key, Command Spacebar to zoom out a tad bit. And then next you want to do is select it. And you notice in here, you have the bounding box here. Inside, these are the called live corners. So if I select it here once, this corner is now live. If I select the other side, this will also be live. Okay. So I'm going to do all four just to make sure that all four corners are going to be resized and be into a rounded corner. Just drag it towards the centered. And as you notice here, my corner is now a perfect oval shape. I'm going to zoom out a little bit here. So I'm going to go Command minus, pan around here and grab it. I'm just going to drag it over to the other side of his arm. And I'm going to make sure, hold down Shift key so that they're on the same axis as the other side. And then hold down the Option key to be make a duplicate copy of the arm. Okay, so let's zoom out again here. And I'm going to do the same thing for his legs. I'm hoping it'll be the same. So again, select his, his arm, drag it over. I'm not holding the Shift key this time because I don't need to be on the same axis. It appears it is the same size. And with and everything. So I'm going to hold down the Option key to duplicate that. And I'm going to do the same thing again for his left leg. Drag it over, Option key to duplicate that. And now hold down the Shift key to just to make sure I'm on the same axis as the other leg. Okay, we're going to draw his head and the body now. I'm going to grab the rectangle tool, uh, draw to the shape of it. So I'm going to go ahead and, head and do that. So I'm going to do the very bottom here. I'm going to grab my, actually I don't even need to, you could select your selection tool and all that. But instead I'm just going to go ahead because it's still live and still selected. So I'm just going ahead and select the inside of my live corners. Hold down the shift key and then drag it towards the center. So you get the nice rounded corner. Next up you want to do here, I'm going to reselect it here. I got, I got deselected by accident here. And now I'm going to go ahead and select the top corners of my live corners. So I'm going to select hold down the shift key to select them both and then go ahead and drag it into the center until you get the nice shape of your of the circle perfect just making sure the bottom here is not changed I'm quite happy with that and then what I'm going to do here I'm going to grab a rectangle again and this time I'm just going to make I'm going to, we're going to plan to cut this off here so what we're going to do here we're going to draw a rectangle at the same height as the top bar here, but just jut it out. The next tool we're going to be using is to, again, we're going to use now create the, the antennas here. Uh, in this case, I'm going to, in this case, I'm actually going to do the rounded tool, so the rounded rectangle, and it's going to just gauge it to see roughly where I'm going to be. I'm going to put my mouse just around the corners here, so I just put it inside, just drag it out until I see the double arrow, so I can go ahead and rotate that as well. You could grow, grab your rotate tool, but again, it's all about keyboard shortcuts. And so you want to make sure that, you know, it's all about the time and process. And so last time you fool around with trying to find tools are, keyboard shortcuts is the best way. If I hit V on my keyboard to select my selection tool, 
I can now go ahead and pick that up and drag it over. I'm off a bit still, so I'm just gonna rotate just a slightly so much. Oops, I'm off again. Let's see if I can try to match it up here. And let's zoom in a bit here. Just so off a bit, but it looks a bit. Okay, there we go. So what I'm gonna do next here, I'm gonna duplicate this one to over here. I can drag and drop it and kind of thing, but let's try to do it a different way. We're going to select the reflect tool. And that should be underneath the rotate tool. So click and hold until you see the reflect tool. Double click on the reflect tool inside your toolbar. And this pop should pop open. If we click on preview, it allows us to see what we're doing here. So you can see right off the bat, this is what this angle here is going to be reflected the other way. So go ahead and do that. Click on horizontal, click on copy, and it does an exact same duplicate as the other size. And you just have to move it over. So we're almost done here. We're just going to go ahead and grab the circle tool. Let's draw his eyeballs like so. I'm going to grab the selection tool. And then just duplicate that same eye for the other side. Okay, we're going to minimize this here a bit. So we're going to go Command minus. So you can see what you're doing. And what we're going to do here, we're going to drop, select their top box, the rectangle that's cut across his, his head and his body. Hold down the Shift key to select the whole part of it. And then what we're going to do is, is open up your Pathfinder. So go Windows, Pathfinder, if it isn't open. And then we're going to select minus front. What this does is that we're going to create a compound shape. But what it does is it will cut this part off and make these two parts a separate part. So let's do that now. Click on it once. And lo and behold, as you can see, they're still together. But they also, um, if I move it around here, they're two individual pieces. So if you want to ungroup it, you can do that now. So you can go right click it to ungroup. Or you can also go ungroup. Now I'm going to do is going to combine some parts here. I'm going to take his two legs here and then his body and I'm going to make it a united in the shape mode so we can combine that so it's now one shape versus three shapes. I'm going to do the same thing for his head and his antenna. Unite on the shape and then in the head part what I'm going to make do is I'm going to knock it out. So basically I'm going to have holes through it. We're going to make his their eyes to be knocking out, meaning that we're going to have their eyes to be shining through. Um, basically, it won't be white. So if we place a color background behind this Android logo, that color will shine through their eyes. So we're going to select both eyes, hold down the shift key, select all three objects, or we can also do a marquee selection to select all three. In this case, we're going to use the shape mode, we're going to minus front because the eyes are in the top layer, and hit minus front. Okay, and once you've done that, we can now go ahead and select all three, all the object, or we can also just do a marquee selection to select all objects here. Again, I'm going to take my fill off to have nothing, click on my fill color to be the top layer, select my eyedropper tool, or I can also hit the eye for the eyedropper tool to sample my color and hold down the shift key. The, co the color is now the green Android. I can now go in ahead and select this wonderful Android off to the side. And let's unlock this object here. Object unlock, delete it, and select it all here. Drag it back here, and let's group it. So object group or command G, and that is now together. So once I said I'm going to put a, a color background behind this, I'm going to place a purple background behind here, and send that to the back. And there we go. Hit the color is now shining through. There you have it a redrawn Android logo in Illustrator. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please like it or share it. And also tell people about it.